Hi and welcome back to Who Intends Crafts, where wings fly free just like our imagination. I'm so sorry I've been MIA. Um, school is almost done, so then I will be able to post a lot more uh, like, you know, I want to. But I got done with some stitch markers I've been working on and I wanted to show them. Um, I will have these in my Etsy. I'm going to be hooking that up. I'm just getting everything ready and that way I can, you know, put it in there if anybody would like anything. If not, that's no, no problem. <laughs> no, no, no. So, this right here. Let me focus this. Alright, there we go. Is my little bee. This was a pendant. And I turned it into a stitch marker. So, have your little lobster uh, claw right there. Down below, in his little legs, I added these little jumper rings. And then, the stitch markers. So, the first one right here is a little flower. And then I have a little dangly gem. The second one is a rose. This little, um, is this glass? I think it's glass. It might just be a fancy plastic. <laughs> but here's a little rose, a little uh, gem, bead. And then I have these two little teeny tiny um, stitch markers. I thought if you're working on you know, like a top or something that you have to mark where the sleeves go, you can use these. And so, instead of just adding in, adding in, <laughs> adding a little gem, I added just two little tiny stitch markers. This one has a little flower and a little tiny bee. Look how cute the little bee is. And again, the lobster claw. I love these bigger ones. Because um, you can use them with your knitting needles if you're a knitter. Um, not the super big needles. But a, uh, from small to, I don't know, a nice size will fit through there. And you can use that as your stitch marker. So let me lay this flat. You just fix it all so then you can see. There we go. And there you go. There is the bee. Sorry for moving this all crazy. Alrighty. The next one I have is a pin. I love me my pins and this or brooch <laughs> if you want to be fancy this is a butterfly and so here you still have room you can hook this onto your um, whip bag and then these will just dangle so here is the first stitch marker little colorful fancy bead I thought matched the butterflies this one kind of matches it too right like mommy baby then this is just a little tiny butterfly with an even tinier one and I love this one it's like a purpley pink oh I just love this one and it just has a gem And that is the butterfly one. I love the um, pins or even the hooks because you can just pin this to your bag and um, then these can dangle from it. Oh, I just love that. Alright, next I have a hummingbird really cute hummingbird I love this hummingbird you only hear me say that a lot but I don't buy 
anything or make anything I would not like or use myself. So if I don't love it, I don't I don't make it. I've worked on so many things and that I was like, oh, I just can't do this no more. And I had to just rip it apart or frog it. So this one here, okay, this little flower is actually a little bracelet uh, pendant, which I could have soldered these two little loops off, but I thought I would do the little mini um, stitch markers. Again, if you're working on like a shirt or something that you need to mark something off, you can use the little mini ones. So instead of soldering the backs off, I, if you hear my voice cracking, I'm so sorry. I think I'm getting sick. I hope not, but yeah. This one is just fancy little beads. Whoops. Are you not going to focus for me? Is that how we do? Oh, there we go. This is like a little fancy gem. I love the colors in this. It's my three favorite colors. Purple, pink, and blue. And I just love that. And then it has these little blue little gems at the bottom. Then over here, you have this blue little flat beaded. A little bird. And then little dangles. Little flower. I wish I had a red one. Because hummingbirds attract to red. And I thought, oh, but I don't have a red. So, got a little flower and a little gem. So again, this one also has a little loop. I'm going to attach a hook to it so you can either pin it or hook it. But there we go, little hummingbird. And... and there's dangle down. Alrighty, the next one is my unicorn. Whoops. Isn't this such a pretty unicorn? It is just gorgeous. I, I love like the multiple little like big little beads all through it. I just love this and this one's a pin as well. And then I have um, the first is a little, that fancy little ball. Here's a little um, unicorn little pendant. Looks like a coin. I have little dangly gems and then a rainbow. Because unicorns and rainbows go together in my world. Here's a fancy little rainbow. A rainbow. Oh my goodness. A fancy unicorn little bead and a little dangly gem and then another fancy unicorn look at that little sparkly looks like again mommy baby right and a little fancy bead little pearl and then you have and this one pins I'm not sure if I said that And you can just pin that to whatever your work, your, no, your little work uh, bag, whatever. And then you have your little stitch markers with you. The next one, we have two more. This one, I'm going to tell you what it says first. It says, I love you to the moon and back. There we go. This one's a little pendant and then it had like a little hoop in the um, loop in the um, middle. And then what I did, I just added little jumper rings to add the three stitch markers. So here we have little fancy moon with a little pearl a little flat pearl with a little gem look at that cool moon 
me try to focus. Isn't that such a pretty little moon? I don't know what this reminds me of, but it reminds me of something. I can't put my like finger on it. Then we have a little heart that says love and a little fancy bead and then another pearl. I kept it all white because the moon. And there we go. And again, that uh, lobster claw, you can hook onto something like your bag, whatever. Alrighty, now we all going to know that this one, duh, is going to be my favorite. If you can guess why. Ready for this one? Ta-da! Oh, blurriness. Yay! Isn't this gorgeous? Now, by far, this outbeats all the other ones. Don't you agree? <laughs> so, here's the first little owl. Stuck with the little copperness. Put some little fancy bead in. And then this. It's like a cute little blue gem. Little gold hoot. I love this one. <laughs> it's little face. And then little blue gems. Then this one I also love. But duh, I mean, come on. Has there ever been an owl I didn't like? And again with the blue. I stuck with the blue theme. Because it's blue. I had to make myself one of these. This <coughs> one will be on my Etsy, but... Oh yeah, I was gonna. I was going to show you that as a pin. So this again is a pin. So you would hook this to something and you would have plenty of room to still have these dangling. Let me lay this down so you can see it fully. There we go. So there's the owl, bee, I love this bee, I was going to do, um, I don't know, I forget what I was going to do out of this, but then when I started working on these, I thought, oh my goodness, this would be so cute, and then of course, little flowers with it, there's the bee, Butterfly. Here's the butterfly. Here's the unicorn. And I love you to the moon and back. So. I have six of them made so far. Still have other ones I'm working on. I have a dragonfly. A sloth. I have a flamingo. I have a cactus one with some. What is it? Llamas. Uh. I forget, I have so many more that I'm making. But so far, these are the ones that I just finished. Hope you um, like what I have to show. Again, I'm so sorry for not posting more. I will definitely be starting next week posting a lot, a lot more. Um, I'm working on the pattern for the little uh, bag where you hold the yarn in. So I'm working on that. So that way that can be posted. And yep.
and that's it. If you like what you see, please give me a thumbs, a blurry thumbs up. <laughs> give me a thumbs up, like, uh, subscribe. Um, yeah, and that's it. Who in to now? Oi. Oh, that's it. So, like always, I hope you have a hooterific day, and who in to now? Bye.